So much has been said about why soccer isn't popular in the U.S. or if it will ever be. But no one can deny that after the World Cup this summer, it's definitely gaining momentum. Millions of people watched Lana Donovan score that goal against England. And tonight, close to 30,000 people showed up to watch the U.S. national team take on Paraguay and Nashville, the largest crowd to ever watch a soccer game in the state of Tennessee. We've definitely seen an impact, yeah, and that's important. Um, when you come to a place like this where people in this area don't get a chance often to see us, uh, it's nice to see uh, a lot of people come out and support us. And some of the places we go on the East Coast, they get to see us quite a bit, but it's nice to know that three times we've been here, we've had great crowds. You know, we, we could tell, even around the hotel, that there was a buzz, and that people were excited about the game, and uh, I think we've seen a lot of that since the World Cup. And so we continue to, to uh, build. Well, people are really taking notice of what we're doing, so it's really nice. And I think that we've always had fans. We're just waiting for a team to support. And I think finally we, we're building a team where we can kind of play with anybody. So I think that's why the people are now starting to come out. We've built a lot of momentum since 2002, 2006, and certainly uh, this past year. And so um, I, think, I think the reception from, from the soccer fans was great. I, th I think all the, the publicity we got as a team, the tournament was uh, we played pretty well, so uh, it's building. And then to come to Nashville and get nearly 30,000 people on a, on a Tuesday night, uh, they were not only were there 30,000, but they were rowdy, and so it was good. I think that's important, you know, because those people in, in you know the middle of the country are more traditional with the baseball and those type of sports. So I think we're doing a good job of coming to places like Tennessee and playing games and having crowds like that because you know it helps the game grow for sure. It's important for us to play in places that we haven't played in. In the Gold Cup, we're going to play in a few places that we don't normally play in Detroit and Tampa. Um, it's important for us to help build the game uh, in that way and I know a lot of people traveled quite a long distance today to come see the game so it's good and I hope we can keep doing it in the future. The U.S. national team hopes to continue to build on its fan base this summer as they will be hosting the Gold Cup in California. From LP Field in Nashville, I'm Samantha Daywig, IU Sportcom.